Hey everybody, it's Jasmine and today I'm bringing you guys this grungy summer transitioning into fall makeup tutorial using the brand new Jackie Ina palette. I'm super excited. This look is really easy to create. Only three eyeshadows for my eyes. Are you kidding me? And a bold lip. Y'all ain't never seen me really do this. So let's go into the tutorial and let's all enjoy this beat. I'm going to go in with my Catrice primer. This is the Keep Me Matte primer. Um, today is pretty hot, so I'm opting in for something a little bit more mattifying so that my foundation can last a little bit longer. And that's usually what I do when I want, you know, longevity. So when I do use mattifying primers, normally I would add a little bit more moisture. So that's what I did in my skincare. I just added an extra layer of moisture. Recently, I've been loving watching Samantha Ravindal on YouTube. I've literally been so obsessed with her and I was watching one of her videos where she collaborated with Raw Beauty Christie. I love both of them. And uh, she was talking about how she took the Charlotte Tilbury um, shiny foundation type product. I don't really know what it was called, um, but I'm going to kind of do the same method. I've been doing this method for maybe a week and a half now, and I feel like I see a difference in it. So I'm using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. So I'm just gonna take this, this is a small sample size, and she put it under her eyes like this, like where you would apply concealer, and she brought it to her temple area and oh my god i swear my highlights look so much better when i do this i've done it on my forehead but honestly i'm not a fan of putting it on my forehead or my chin it's just the under eye area where i feel like i look brighter my highlight looks better my concealer looks amazing so i'm really liking this method i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with my sponge and we can move on to foundation I love the fact that this shade doesn't have like a strong champagne tone to it. It's almost just like clear, but just shimmery. I don't know. I, I just, I feel like if you've ever tried to do this with any other product, like say cover effects or anything like that, it's too pigmented. So you could see the area of demarcation on your face. And I feel like with this one, you really can't. And I think that's why I like it so much is because it's so close to my skin and even if I just apply this alone on top of bare skin, it looks good. So let's go into foundation. So today I'm opting for a long wearing foundation because not only is it hot, I'm planning on seeing Ryan today and Ryan was like, we're gonna go on a three hour bike ride, but then we're also gonna do other things today. So I'm like, okay, I wanna look cute. You know, I wanna look like me but I also don't want my foundation to melt off. So I'm going to be mixing two foundations. I'm using the Stay Naked by Urban Decay, which is super nice and lightweight. I do feel like it is a teensy bit too dark, so I'm gonna lighten it up just a little bit with the Pure Love Your Selfie in MG3, and in the Stay Naked, I have 50WY. I love both foundations because they both are super long wearing and I think combined it's just super lightweight and you don't feel it on the skin, which is a plus. Like I love that. I also noticed that whenever I use the pure foundation mixed in with anything, I feel like there's less creasing on my face, which is amazing because who wants to crease? I don't. I really don't. Ooh, this is a perfect match to my neck. Y'all see that? Love that. I love how yellow the Stay Naked is because I feel like there are not a lot of colors out there on the market that are super yellow. And you guys know me, banana powder is literally my face powder. So to have a foundation that's actually good in the yellow department is amazing. Look at that under eye area. It looks amazing. I don't know why, but it just, I, I just look so much healthier and it just doesn't look like a mask. But I do wanna cover a little bit more of my dark circles because I know you guys can't see it through the camera because I have so many lights on. But listen, I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired. School's just stressing me out for some weird reason and I just need just a little bit more coverage right in that under eye area. So I'm gonna do my concealer. I'm using my Ride or Die Concealer. This is the Catrice Liquid Camel Concealer. I have the shade Hazelnut Beige and I'm just applying maybe that much. And I always notice that I have some shadowing on the bridge of my nose. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that on the bridge and then whatever is left on the brush here, I'm going to apply that on my chin and forehead. As you can see, this concealer shade isn't too much lighter than my foundation shade. It might be around two shades lighter, which is normally what I go for, but sometimes I want to really brighten up my complexion, so I'll go like three to four. It kind of just depends on what I'm going for, and I get a lot of questions on how do I pick the right concealer shade for me. I just say if you want something that'll brighten you up, go maybe two shades lighter. If you want something super bright, three to four shades lighter. I'm gonna use two different powders today. I'm gonna go in with the pressed powder. This is the Makeup Revolution Bacon Blot in the shade Banana. And I'm gonna use up the rest of my Hydra Mist Powder by Becca. I don't really like this stuff. I did when I first got it because I was like, oh my God, it's cooling, it's everything. And then I realized you get flashback <laughs> and if you apply too much, you just look super, super white. And honestly, I've tried so many better translucent powders on the market and I think the only reason why I did like it was the cooling effect that I got initially. But honestly, after a while, it stops getting cold and you're like, oh, okay, nice, thanks. For brows, I'm going to use my Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I really do like this stuff, and I just feel like right now, full coverage brows for me are coming back. It's either a light brow or full coverage brow. There's no in-between, so I'm just going to take this on my Shop Missé Brow Brush. I don't know if you guys are like this, but I feel like it's so much faster to fill in your brows with a brow pomade than a brow pencil. For some weird reason, I just feel like I create my brows effortlessly with brow pomades. Maybe it's because I started out with brow pomade, so I'm like really used to it. But let me know how you guys are because I'm curious. We all have different brow routines. I honestly still have not been able to find another brow product that I liked as far as brow powders are concerned. So I'm gonna go back to my Wet n Wild brow powder. I have the shade Ash Brown, and I'm just gonna go in with hair-like strokes in my brows so that they don't look completely drawn on. To clean up my eyebrow, I have been loving the Fenty Beauty Concealer because it's like a thicker formula and I just feel like once it blends out, it just creates a really nice base for the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my eyebrow and we'll go in with our eyeshadow. Today we are going to use the Jackie Aina palette. I am so excited. Thank you, Sydney, for getting me this palette. I am so stoked about it. So today I'm gonna to recreate the look that I uploaded on my Instagram the other day. This is a really simple look to do. I only used around three shades. So let's go into Ginger on a Real Techniques blending brush. This is their domed shadow brush. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this directly in my crease and then I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm going to just go ahead and move back and forth and blend it up to my brow. I'm gonna take a small angled brush and I'm going to tap the shade Credit onto the outer corner of the eye. And I'm also going to apply it in the same area as Ginger, but I'm going to apply it a little lower than my actual crease, just so that when we blend it, it doesn't go too high up. I'm gonna add a little bit more Ginger right on top of Credit and this is going to help blend everything together and make it look a little bit more seamless. On a flat brush, we are just gonna take the shade Sponsored and I'm gonna start in the middle of my lid and then work towards my inner corner just so we can disperse the color evenly and I'm just gonna create a small faux half cut crease. And look at that, only three shades. Only three freaking shades. How easy is that? We can all do it. We can all recreate it. I don't care if you're a beginner. I don't care if you're an expert. We can all do this look together. It's gonna look so good on everyone. Oh, uh, yes. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on my lower lash line. I'm gonna take that same small angled brush with Ginger and I'm going to just run this along my lower lash line. I'm gonna look up into a mirror while I do this. Before I continue to blend, let's take a brown eyeliner. Again, look up into a mirror. 
and just apply that right in that waterline. I'm gonna use my favorite lower lash line brush. This is the Sigma E20. And I'm gonna take credit and we are going to line that area where we applied the eyeliner. This is going to add a lot more depth and dimension and just smoky grunginess to the look. It really just ties in everything. So I went ahead to finish this one off camera. I didn't add any eyeliner. It's just mascara and lashes. Um, for lashes, I'm using a really natural pair. These are the Kara Lashes Wispy. I used to use these all the time um, back in the day, um, but I just stopped using them. But you can find these on the Shop Missy website. They're really nice. Um, I feel like you can only reuse them about like five times and then you have to throw it out because the band is super, super thin. For bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. I'm using this on my Juno & Co ES15 brush. It's just an angled contour brush. I'm just going to lightly put this on the perimeter of my face and right under my cheekbone. I feel like with how bold this eye look is, you don't really need much as far as the face is concerned. So I'm just going in with like a lighter shade of bronzer and I think it honestly completes the look because it just adds to the eye makeup as opposed to just making it too crazy and too um, bold. I'm going to use this baked blush by e.l.f. This is called their Peachy Cheeky Blush. And I'm just going in to apply that. It's a really light pink, but it adds enough rosiness to the cheeks to where you look alive and you look good. <laughs> it's not doing too much, which is nice. And it also has like a little bit of shimmer. So if you want to skip highlight, you totally can. It's possible, um, but I'm actually going to go in with a highlighter today. We're going to use our old friend, Laura Geller Gilded Honey. So I'm going to take that on a Morphe brush. This is M501. This is the only standing Morphe brush that I own. Every single Morphe brush that I have had in the past literally shed, the, the thing broke off, and it's honestly just so annoying. This one, <laughs> so far so good. I mean, it's lasted me since high school. So that's a long time, probably like four years. And then with my finger, I'm gonna apply this right on the nose and right where I have that little divot in my nose. Just like that. And then we're also gonna take this into the inner corner just to brighten everything up. So I went in with a really light nude in my Instagram photo, but I feel like I should do a little bit more of a different lip today in today's tutorial because you guys always see me in nude. So let me find a lip color combination and we will get into it. To start off the lip combination, I'm going to line my lips with the Real Her I Am Confident Lip Liner. This shade is cute, honestly. It's like a rosy type of mid-tone brown, which is honestly cute. It kind of matches ginger a little bit, but I want to go in with just a little bit more orange. So I'm taking the Shop Massey So Smooth Lipstick in the shade Reef, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it mostly towards the center of my lips. All right, everyone, that wraps up this video. Hope you guys all enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching and always showing me love. I am literally so obsessed with this look. I do plan on making more videos using the Jackie Anna palette as well as the So Jaded palette because I know I just reviewed that last week for you guys as well. So I'm excited to bring you guys a lot more tutorials because they have been requested. And honestly, I hope you guys just have a great day. So I will see you guys later and I love you guys so much. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts. Thank you.